be back. So uh, you uh, carry on, uh, Andy. Hey guys, just little bits and pieces. I had to laugh. I had to laugh. And I had to think about some of you guys. I guess the haters are still around. <laughs> now, I'm in a pretty good mood, fellas. And you can't blame it on PBR. There is none. <laughs> Ever since Anheuser-Busch committed corporate suicide by going woke, who are their loyal customers of Bud Light? <laughs> it's about the funniest thing I've ever seen in my whole life, man. Blue-collar working-class men and Anheuser-Busch and Associates decide to try to teach blue-collar working-class men that they're really into chicks with dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Why the highlighted NK exclamation point? Well, see the OG exclamation? What's his name? Dave Geisler? Gisler? Geisler? David G. Of uh, Ham Radio YouTuber fame. Now, he's a real YouTuber, right? I don't know if he uses words like post and B-roll, but... <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, I hope you're well. I am. Uh, I had to laugh. I just listened to another QSO, and I had to go get my phone, man. I didn't have my phone with me at the time. And uh, this guy was going off, and he wasn't angry. He was frustrated beyond belief. And I paraphrase. The band is awful today. I don't know what I'm going to do. Now, I can copy Dave on the Rochester remote, and I can copy him on the Miami remote, but now, Bob, I can't copy him on either. I can only copy him on the Denver remote. And Phil, I can't copy him on any of those, but if I switch over to a remote, I... <laughs> uh, this good ham, this poor, poor, misguided but good ham, <laughs> he was going nuts because he couldn't maintain communication even using his beloved remotes. I hope you're well. I hope that's all I had to say this time around. I'd really like a wobbly pop. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye now. Hey guys, me again. I just finished that last video where we had a good, a good laugh about the internet at, internet at it failing to get the job done. <laughs> um, anyway, so I sat here looking around the desk and I thought to myself, damn man, it's so tidy. I got to mention something, man. <laughs> no, I don't smoke joints. <laughs> Couple hits is enough good. How the hell can anybody function after smoking a whole joint? But I digress. Why are we back again? Well, you think I was done talking because I disappeared for a week? Oh, believe me, guys, I am never done talking. And, well, I'm going through a bit of a withdrawal myself. I suppose I'm addicted to bullshit. <laughs> I started thinking about cycle 25. And every once in a while, I still hear comments such as, Oh, when cycle 25 comes alive... You want to see my little ego wall? It's not just doctors and lawyers that have an ego wall. My word ego doesn't come out clearly before I mumble. <laughs> and I laugh like Herman Munster. <laughs> Cycle 25, guys. Are you waiting for it to come alive? I hope not. Oh, believe me, it's alive and screaming like solar cycle maxima haven't in some time i read the other day that we have surpassed the last 
the last solar backs about the last solar count numbers that were as high as they are now was 21 years ago what am I talking about when I worked southern Argentina with 2.5 to 3 milliwatts I'm shaking just thinking about it and I've got my anti-shake turned on the thrill is still alive in me man I can taste the QSO I can hear the CW ringing in my head still man somebody asked me Fred did do you dream in CW well, after having used it fluently for 49 years, the answer is kind of. I have had a couple dreams where CW was rattling away in the background while I was visiting with, uh, with people in, in the same room as me, socializing with them. And um, the CW that was prattling away in the background yeah, it was uh, text. It was copyable in my dream. There was a QSO going on that I was copying in my dream in my head. Because that's what I used to do. I used to carry on two QSOs. One with a human in the room with me and one on the radio simultaneously. Two different uh, trains of thought. Are you still waiting for cycle 25 to come alive? Really? Do you think, and this is for the newer hams, this, this little uh, bit, do you think it's going to be blazing glory every day? 20 meters open round the clock to the whole world every day? Well, guys, it was three nights ago, open to the world. I sat here and I listened to Europeans working Australians and New Zealanders on 20 meters at 3 a.m. my time <laughs> you know oh my god and the bands have been in generally shit otherwise <laughs> 90 percent of the time and that's how it goes <laughs> at solar maxima that's how it goes at solar maxima the hots the highs are profoundly high and hot. The lows, just profoundly awful. Right? And then this happens. And your jaw hits the floor. Two and a half milliwatts to southern Argentina using, once again, a vertical built out of garbage, this time mounted on a chimney mount at a height of about 18 or 19 feet on my single story house. Four counterpoise wires laying on the shingles. 15 meters. S7. We started our QSO at the 5 watt power level, both of us. Uh, I forget now, uh, I was 20 dB over 9 at the 5 watt power level, I'm not sure. I'd have to rewatch my video. You want to see something, man? You think I'm kidding you? You think I'm bullshitting you? I'm not. Hang on. Hey, baby boy. I'll try not to step on you. Oh, I already did. Sorry. I had to stand up. I want to show you my ego wall. Why? It's on topic. Why else? It's modest. I apply for basically no certificates. Never have. <laughs> I better pause you. Else I step on Litzy. I pause you. My QRP club. I was very active in some years ago. The NAQCC, highly recommended. The certificate, 
they give away a certificate for working a thousand miles per watt. This time around, with JM7 OLW, note the power level, 900, uh, hang on, does it say? Hang on, I gotta pause you. Yes, it does. I saw the 900, and it's like, what? He was running? No. JM7 OLW in Japan at a power level of 0.9 watts, 900 milliwatts, right? 10 meters. Now, guys, a few nights ago, again on 20 meters, again after midnight, I worked Hawaii with QRP with 5 watts a few nights ago just under a thousand miles per watt, right? Look at this. Look at this, man. That's my QRP club. I like my QRP club. Used to be very active in it. They think I'm helping in their efforts to preserve the use of Morse code at QRP power levels. They don't think I'm ruining ham radio with my videos. <laughs> Working with one watt. Finished first place in my category. SWA category stands for simple wire antenna. Okay, guys? I was on the second story of an old farmhouse with a piece of wire taped to the ceiling for the radiator, another wire draped down the stairwell to the main floor. This farmhouse built in the 1850s has ghosts. I won my category. <laughs> Using QRP, man. You know, hang on. Once again, I po found it in the parking lot at a Bob Seeger concert three years ago. I paused. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see. I got to talk. I got to talk. I had to refill my water. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hang on. Hang on, guys. I pause you again. I I pause. <sighs> you know what my mom used to say, man? One thing she used to say, <laughs> and it was usually not a good situation, she would say, and I quote, Mister, you lie in the bed you make. End of quote. <laughs> and <laughs> she's still alive. I've never been free. Another thing she'd say was, Mister, you've been given your marching orders. Oof. <laughs> I turned and walked and did what she had requested. Well, she also used to say, The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. So before the Lord taketh my wobbly pops away, and highly recommended. Exceedingly good beer. Congratulations, Canada. You do know how to make beer. And you do know how to produce some kick-ass musicians in the form of Rush. Oh, boy. Rest in peace, Neil. The world misses you, man. And I miss you guys. I hope you've been well. And I'll be back because I've got a little project to show you. And I've got something exceedingly sad to show you about me. It'll explain a little bit to you guys that have been watching some of my earlier... It'll explain a lot. And it's a very, very, very sad in a way. But it is what it is. And...
it'll all be okay. I'll be back. I hope you're well, and I hope you're working some QRP. I hope you're working some DX. Because remember, Blitzy says it's go time. Bye, guys. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you something. If anybody doesn't think it's possible to go from 20 to go from 20 over S9 to S7 by reducing power from 5 watts to 2.5 milliwatts, let's see what the math says. I'm going to use my N8NK unit spreadsheet. You can download it from my Google Drive if you want. I'll put a link in the comment section. I'll pin it to the, in the comment section. Let's take, take a look at two power ratios. Power ratio, power one, five watts. Okay. Power two, point zero, zero, two, five. Two and a half milliwatts. How many dB down do you think that'll say? Let's look. 33 dB down. If I was 20 over S9, if I go down 33 dB, how far will I go? Well, let's take that 20 over S9, that 20 dB, and add it to two S units. An S unit is 6 dB. Two times that is 12 dB. Add the 12 dB to the 20 and you get 32 dB. The math almost completely agrees. Almost perfectly, actually, with what I experienced. I just wanted to show you guys. I hope you're well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.